Hi guys, my name's Andy and in this lesson we're looking at how to play TNT by ACDC. This is part of my course where we're learning riffs that use notes from the E minor pentatonic scale. An open position, which is this set of notes covered in the first video of the playlist that this video is part of. This, in particular song, just uses the first three notes. One, two, three, for your main riff. Throwing in a couple of power chords in there as well. Nice and easy. Let's take you in for a close-up. Okay, guys, here we are with TNT by ACDC. Starting off with the really easy beginner's version, just using single notes. Starting off with the open E string going to 3rd fret of that E string, then change into the A, we got a pause there, and then back to the 3rd fret, open A, 3rd fret. To a slow count as a demonstration first of all, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, and... Okay, so lots of offbeats on this one. Let me just count it in so that you can join in with me. And let's have a go at it. Two, three, four. Open. Two, three. Third fret. Open. Three. Open. Three. Now making sure that we get the correct string with your picking hand is obviously essential. Open. To start off with. On the thickest. Thickest again. Open A, E string, A string, E string. And to help with that, you'll see that I've got kind of the ball of my thumb here, the palm of my hand rested on the thumb side, just above my strings to give me an anchor point with my right hand. We're very much not strumming at any point during this riff. My hand is anchored and we're playing single string notes. We're not anchored on our little finger like this, which you may see some people do, but I very much encourage being on this side of your hand. It keeps our, basically, it keeps our pick as close to the strings as possible, which is where we want it. The next step on from this is playing the E and the A rather than just open strings with power chords. We've got our E power chord and our A power chord. E playing the thickest two strings, first finger at string five, second fret, dropping everything down a string and playing strings five and four, first finger at second fret on the fourth string for an A power chord. As a demonstration, first of all, and it's really just the first E and then the second E. A is all that is essential to be able to beef up this riff basically. You can hear that the E string on its own sounds good, but both strings together sounds very much heavier. But it's only the first E and the second A that we have to worry about really. You can get the A chord there as well, but that should be a much harder skill for most people if you can do it. By all means, go ahead, it'll sound great. Um, so as a quick demo, all the same notes, same muting. For the timing of the riff, you just have to have listened to the original often enough um, and basically copy what I'm doing here. But it will be tabbed out in full on my website. If you check out that logo somewhere around here, um, it'll take you to the tab on the website. Let's play this riff together to a slow count or after the count of four in two, three, four. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Last time. The difficulty will probably be with the picking hand, persevere with it, and I'm sure you'll be okay if you keep the movement small and you keep anchoring on this part of your hand. If it's too difficult for you, just check out some of the other 
videos of this series of 10 songs that use this E minor pentatonic scale. Just before the chorus, it stays on the A, and that A rings out. So, so the last time through the riff just holds the A. After this, quite easy, we've got A, single note, E. T, N, T, and the chords we're actually playing, A power chord, a G single note, third fret on the E string, and then the E power chord. T, N, T, I'm dynamite. T, N, T, and I'll win that fight. T, N, T, I'm a power load. T, N, T, watch me explode is the A power chord. So that chorus one more time, just really slowly as a demo. T, N, T. Again, the trickier part is probably with the picking hand. Playing two strings, five and four for the A power chord. Single note on the E string. And then the pair of strings, the ones together. You can anchor slightly or just kind of keep the movement small with this hand. And it goes, the intro is the, the first riff. That cycles and cycles and cycles throughout the intro and the verse. Holds the A, TNT for the chorus. They've, we have intro, verse again. Same riff as the intro. Over the guitar solo. Ending on the chorus, T and T. And then finally, there's a really kind of fun bit in it. Um, which will work out your power chords really great. We start off with the E power chord as we have done, but then we go for an F first fret power chord, and it just steps up one string at one fret at a time, I should say, with your E root note, your thickest string root note power chord shape. Dun. And then after four, it doubles in time. So one, two, three, four, one, two. Third one, fourth one, just going up a fret at a time. Doubles times, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then it keeps going again, double time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, as high as it will go. And then you just want to hit that open E, open e power chord, really. So loads of fun. Um, just stepping up one power chord at a time. So that's how to play TNT by ACDC. As with every song we cover in my lessons, please, please play it along to the original record so that you get the most benefit from the riffs that we learn to check your timing, to make sure you know the structure of the song. Check out any of the other songs in this playlist of 10 songs that use notes from this E minor pentatonic scale. And please subscribe if you like these lessons and I'm sure I'll see you again.